Hey everyone, welcome back to the NASCAR 5 Championship Let's Play for race 17 of 36 for the Xfinity Series. We're off to Chicago. A last race with Sonoma. Easy win nonetheless. Um, yeah, we won bad to bad races. Let's see if we can go three for three here. Chicago, I just did a practice race just to get a thumbnail for this video. Uh, we have a chance to win. So we got a chance, and after that, we got the halfway point in Daytona, so. Uh, points. We got a comfortable point lead. We got about a, oh jeez, I can't figure it out. Uh, a hundred and, no, I think it's a nine, 90 point lead. Almost forgot to do the map, but it's a 90 point lead. I have over Chase Briscoe heading into Daytona, or Chicago land, sorry. Um, settings. I'll show you those real quick so that way people aren't doubting me. There, there they are, 105 AI, so not changing anything. And no, no drive departments. We're going to have it on for Daytona, though, so we're not. I'll drop them. We're not going to have them on. We'll have them on for Daytona, though, so. Anyway, without further ado, uh, let's jump right into Chicagoland. So here's the setup we're going to use for today's race here in Chicago. I'm pretty sure it's from the setup, man, if I remember. So, yeah, this is the set we're going to go with. Car's handling great. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to jump into qualifying and see we start. All right, here we go for our qualifying run. Pretty good turns one and two. Hopefully we have a good hopefully we have a good three and four. Alright, not bad at all. Off of four, we're gonna see where we start and pretty solid lap. Alright, not bad. Ninth! Alright, right now we're on the bottom. Hopefully no cars fail quality, just so we can start down there and all guy on pole, not bad. Briscoe is third. Sendrick went home. Well, Briscoe is third, so not bad. We have a big point lead over him, so we have nothing to lose right now. Every eighth. Of course you're going to put me on the outside. All right, well, let's jump right into Chicago. All guy. The pole sitter had to start in the back of the pack. All right, here we go. It's going to be 50 laps. And we are on the way to Chicago. For 10 laps at 18, so we can easily make it to the end of the first stage. Making his pass on the outside all by myself! And oh no! Oh, damn it! I got a pit. Fuck! <sighs> Just like in the truck series. I think in the trucks we died in the first stage also and we came back and won. It's, get, it's basically going to be the same scenario here. Where we're going to die and maybe come back and win. What's is this? I hate this game so much with the frames. Sorry, old guy. This is, these guys are slow. I hate this game with its frame drops. I mean, he four runs better than this shit. I mean, come on, man. He four is better as far as the quality is concerned. He four is better. Please turn the damn car. Oh shit. Sorry, Star. Not the start of the race, I hope, but hopefully we can somehow get out to the front and save us. I mean, to be fair, we are on fresh retire, so that is a huge advantage. Um, may I do 
Yeah, did not run the bottom in the first quarter, so there's another opportunity we can gain some spots. It looks like right now we'll be in position to get some stage points. After we die on the first lap, Briscoe leading. He's going to gain more points on me. And I am, I'm the points leader by 90 going to this, so I don't have a big point lead. But did, not the start of the race I was hoping, but maybe I could get some stage points. That's better than nothing. I'll increase the gap. Ah, they're so slow going to the first corner. If I was on the ball going into the first turn, I probably would be flying by now, but... Here we go to the bottom. Greg's going to try to take 15th place. So right now we're pretty close to stage point territory. I mean, stage point territory will be better than nothing at this point. I'd like to get some bonus points in this race. Three to go. They said, yeah, do not run the bottom in the first corner. So that's an opportunity. And the car could just turn. That will be an opportunity for me to gain spots. And right now, we're almost in stage point territory. So this is better than nothing, to be honest. Oh. Ah, Jesus. Alright, we're in stage one territory. We're in ninth place. Yep, we're in ten. I would like to get ninth just so I can start on the inside line. But like I said, a spot is better than nothing. I don't want to start on the top. Oh, Riley Herbst, that's good for me. That's that's less points I'm going to gain him, or that Brisker's going to gain him. He's run the last lap. All right, can we at least nail turn one? Just like that. Because of that, we're going to get seventh from Chastain. And we got it. I'd like to hang on to this spot just so I can start on the bottom for the second stage. I'm not going to attempt to pass Lil. Well, I'm a turn four. It looks like Riley Hobbs is going to win the opening stage. We're going to bring home seven, so not bad. That's, that's better than... I'll take that after what happened on the start. I'll take that. And because of that, I have enough field to make it to the end of the second stage. And I don't know if everybody else does, but we got enough field to make it to the end of the second stage. And my right sides are already burned off, but... If he all comes out early, we might be we might do a little strategy. Because that's what happened in a couple of races where we pit about how we do the second stage, stay out and make it on field that way. And that saves a stop. Yeah, we we'll see. And stage two is underway at Chicago. On the bottom lane, so we're gonna get that start advantage. And we might get the lead after all that. And we do. We're the leader. And we have a better start this time. Of like, well, we have a better start to this stage than the opening stage. So we have a better start this time. Because of that, we're the leader. And, uh, yeah, we're pulling away. Let's relax. All right, last lap of stage two, um, off to a four-second lead oh, over Harrison Burr, and so far none, none happened. Uh, off to a four-second lead, so looks like if if the cost comes out in the final stage, I can come in and get rights, and then I'll still have about a four-second lead. Oh, I'm out of gas. I'm out of fuel. Think like I have enough to coast to the line. And oh, I have got enough fuel to win the second stage. All right, I'll take it. I I barely had enough. I didn't think I didn't think I was having enough fuel when we did. Briscoe is six, so I gained about five points. Yeah, we're definitely pitting. Okay, we cannot make it to the end. And it's still loose. We're gonna tighten it up a couple. We're gonna tighten it up a little bit. All right, we're going to pick good tires, and we're still going to maintain the lead. And the 
Vile stage is underway! And we're at the halfway point also! Alright, beautiful seeds, 18 laps. We can't make it on fuel though, so... Yeah, without further ado, we're driving off and we relax until we get a caution. There it is, guys, I called it! Um, oh, that's a huge risk. Um, I gotta take right side tires just to not lose a million spots. This could be a risky call, but I'm gonna take right side tires. We'll see. I'll probably lose a lot of spots, but it's going to be better than nothing by taking four. I think the lefts could go another ten laps, so we're going to go with right sides. And we're still first. Perfect. Alright. Hopefully this is a good enough call. And back to racing! With ten laps to go at Chicago! Thank God I decided to take breaks because I, I did not want to be back there when I dominated the whole race and having Brian France screw me. So thank God I made the call to go with right side tires. But it might be a risky call, but I have to go for it if I want to win this. But yeah, we're, we're going to relax and focus for the final nine laps. Oh, well, here they are. For the first time, I'm going to be challenged, and it looks like the two-tire call didn't quite work. This is what happens, guys, when you decide to risk and gamble to, to not be in the pack. This is what happens. Here I come on the outside. Oh, it just doesn't want to turn. Those left side tires are a pain. Let him go because I want the bottom. It just doesn't want to turn. Well, this is what happens, guys, when you risk. Sometimes it doesn't go to plan, and we're getting our yellow, so got lucky. The car is really good on restarts, so there's that. The car is really good on restarts. And the left front, the left front is about 50% worn, so. This is what happens, guys, when you go for a risk. This is what happens. We go back to racing. Alright, I think I got the reason I'm down here because the car is really good on restarts. I feel like I can just get the lane and relax, so. Yeah, alright, let's relax again. Alright, head down to back stretch coming to the white fly. They are coming, but just trying to focus. Looks like this game will buy a word. Just gotta hang on for one more lap, and this game will pay off as I'm off of four. They are coming back as we're on the last lap in Chicago! Will this gamble work? It's a risky call, but I'm going to see if it works. Wade right, seems to try to take second as we're down the back here. Just got to one more corner, and I'm going to get this victory here. It looks like I'm going to do it off the turn four. The gamble is going to pay off, and we're going to take the win in Chicago! Yes! Brain drops! Yes, the gamble paid off! Thanks, for, thanks to the caution! Yes, we made, we, we made it work! Holy shit, I don't know how, but we made it work! Alright, so Ryan Seek ends up in second place, Chase Briscoe fifth, so I'm going to get more points on him! And... Yeah, solid runs on the west, and yeah, we got a big point lead now. We were ahead by 90 points. I think the lead is going to increase, and we are now up by 119. So we gained almost 30 points within that one race, so. Yes! <laughs> and that was our 11th win of the season. Yes! I take it. Holy shit, I don't know how it made it possible, but that risky call that man on the final stop to take right side tires. But it worked! It worked! 
Riley Herbst with the fastest lap, 30-48. I probably led the most laps. I did with 34, the all but 20, or 18. On the move, Justin Allgaier, 34 to 8. Not a bad result. And Noel Gregson, 10th to 26. All we got, Live on the King, won 200 races. Hell yeah, all right, something to add to the resume. All right, well, um, next is the halfway point of the Xfinity Series at Daytona. That will be the halfway point. Um, good chain set. Right, let's look at the points again. I have a 119 point lead, so I gained about 29 points. Because I had a 90 point lead going into this. Now I have 119, so I gained about another 30 points. So, and again, the truck series, I, I won the title by, what, 300 points. I think 306 was the overall, but we ended up winning it. So, I remember the Xfinity cars at Homestead are a lot really hard, but right now we're in a very comfortable position to win the title if it plays out like this. If we have like 190 points, because we almost have a two race, we have a two race lead technically, because the maximum you can make up is 60. So if I finish, if I ain't get stage points to come last, this is not really gonna affect me, so. I basically have a two race lead over Briscoe, so. Anyway, next is Daytona for the halfway point of the Xfinity series. And we all know how good Dale Jr. is on restricted plates. And last time we were at Daytona, we played second, and this will be the second restricted play race. And it will indeed. And again, last time we were at Daytona, we played second. And this is the second time we're going to be on a restricted play track this season. Because Talladega is going to be later in the season. And there it is right there. So, race 32. So, yeah, we got a long way to go until we hit that point. But anyway, next is Daytona for the halfway point of the Xfinity Series. We will have drive the partners on. going to do it right now. So that way, we're going to have them on. Because it's going to be a restricted plate. So, might as well have them on. And we are going to race in cop mode, if I remember. I don't think we have, I don't think I had an offer the last time at Daytona, but we're going to have an offer this one. So, yeah, anyway, um, that's going to do it for me. Hopefully you all are doing amazing. I'll see you all at Daytona for the halfway point. And have a good day, everyone. Take care. I'll see you all later. God, flip that right by. See ya!